What's going on everybody? James Largo, The Cichlid Shack, thecichlidshack.com. We are here to do another uh, shipment inventory walkthrough. Uh, we got 60 plus boxes of fish in last week and we wanted to show you guys uh, what we got in. Uh, everything from what you're seeing up here in the front tank, uh, red endlers uh, to uh, a 10 inch wild caught Malawi trout, uh, catfish, fancy placos, just about everything you can think of. So, uh, starting here at the front, we have some very nice um, red endlers. And we will work our way past the show tank. Look at that wild caught trout. All right, on to what you guys are here to see. Let's get some fish in. First, we will stop by these uh, two tanks here. Um, this is one of my sunshine grow outs, but I also put um, two fancy placos in here. Uh, these are yellow king tigers. Uh, the number is listed on the website. I forgot to write it on here, the L number. Um, there's two of them in here. They are a good size. And you can see they have a very interesting face and their eyes kind of stick out a little bit and a really cool pattern. Those are yellow king tigers. L333, I guess I did write it on there. And this tank we have uh, a Galaxy Playco LDA31, uh, which is this big guy here. Uh, really cool Playco. And then we have uh, two Gold Nugget Iriris L177s. You can see one of them uh, on the bottom of the sponge there. Watch out, buddy. And I believe the other one is over here. <laughs> yep, there he is. So we have uh, two Gold Nuggets, uh, a Galaxy uh, Playco, and then the two King Tigers. And we also have uh, a bunch of sail fins, both marble and uh, the other one you'll see on the website. Everything's been added. Uh, up here we have 4 inch plus Angara flame tails, uh, 3 inch plus females. German Reds are back in stock, uh, as well as probably close to a dozen females, uh, if anybody would like to breed. Uh, these German Reds are looking very, very nice. Uh, the Lawandas, I have two big 5 inches and a bunch of 2 inch on sex. The rest of the order, uh, he ran out of room to quarantine the fish for shipping. Uh, so the other half of the order is coming uh, this Friday. A um, little bit of a teaser, there will be some wild caught predators on this order coming Friday. Uh, these are four to five inch bicolor peacocks and we have a ton of uh, females as well. Both regular dragon bloods and blue dragon bloods in this here aquarium. Some really nice uh, blue dragon bloods that are four inch at least. And three and a half to four inch dragon bloods, uh, pinks and oranges. Ethelwaney peacocks. We have males that are showing very nicely at four inch. And some nice males bred in house that are showing at about two and a half to three inch as well. And tons and tons of females. Beautiful black dorsal flavescence. Have a couple of females of those back in stock as well. Uh, back in stock again is the ever glowing sunshines. Have females as well. Down here are Malaria Chadunga rocks. Uh, a different variation from a different part of the lake of the Malaria clan. Uh, the difference between these and the sunshines is these are a, a bit of a more yellowy orange in the body. 
where the actual sunshine uh, are more of a golden yellow. Different collection point really is all. Green face saloon size, both males and females of a good size. You can see a very nice male there. Another nice male, some good healthy females. Back in stock, four inch plus Kobu Regals. Midnight Husseries, both males and females. Good size, nice color on the males. Great finish. Otter Points, in-house bread. OB Peacocks. A few of these are from uh, the Skittles line out of the tub. That one back there. Uh, that one in the back there. And then we have some nice big five inchers as well. A few of those Skittles females remaining. Uh, blue Neons are coming this Friday. Uh, Cornelii Blue Golds coming this Friday. We do have a young male here and a bunch of females but we will be getting bigger males in oh wait there is a male left for the breeding group i forgot about that back in stock again red shoulders hands beshies both males and females great big monster albino sunshines these guys are every bit of four and a half to five inch listed at four inch plus and we have tons of females folks uh, if anybody would like to breed the albino sunshines up here uh great big and benjis uh the one that i had left was being a huge a-hole so he's in timeout in the net you can see the other ones, uh, he was uh, not being very nice to them. Uh, so he's in timeout. Uh, lemon jakes, four inch lemon jakes. Lots of beautiful lemon jakes uh, back in stock again, both males and females. Maylandies, looking very, very nice. Uh, from three and a half inch all the way up to four inch plus. Uh, have some young unsexed ones where I can see a nice male there from my group as well. Maylandies. Four inch Turkish Peacocks. Uh, four inch Red Suns. Lots and lots of choices on these. There's at least 10 of each one. Beautiful Turkish. Red Suns. Still have beautiful blue orchids remaining. Uh, back in stock again, the Kate McClear Jakes. These guys are probably five inch, most of them easy listed at four inch plus both males and females red collar peacocks males and females lots and lots of beautiful eureka red jakes back in stock very very nice red eureka red jakes varying sizes I do have a few females remaining. <coughs> albino strawberries. Uh, that is the albino Eureka Red. He was he sold to an internet order, but I do have a a couple of smaller, uh, about three and a quarter inch albino Eurekas. If anybody's interested, uh, but the big guys in here, albino strawberries. On to the next row. Dimitrochromus Kawingis, F1s, six inch males, 
five inch females. Uh, living stone eyes, anywhere from four inch to five inch males. And I did get this one six inch uh, F1 Buchacrums Notitania. Uh, six inch plus Venustus. These are big boys. Five inch plus, probably closer to six inch F1 Malawi eye biters. One male already sold over the weekend. There's three nice big males remaining. Uh, Protomelis Taiwan Reefs and Protomelis Hertes. Uh, I got five Hertes in, five inch. Uh, they're all showing color already. Hopefully that's coming across on camera. And big monster uh, Taiwan Reefs, probably close to six inch. I have uh, Venustus at three and a half to four inch as well. Uh, Red Empress, five inch plus Red Empress, four and a half inch, maybe bigger females. F1 Fuscos and Mylochromus Amphromimus. Oh, blue dolphins, three and a half to four inch, and a Mylochromus philistitious macola reef from Mr. Adam C. Uh, these are fresh out of the grow out tubs. As the males uh, show some decent color, I am listing them on the website. Uh, the photo on the site is of Mr. Adam C.'s breeder, so you can see what they look like. Copatochromus quadrimaculatus, uh, too long of a name, we like to call them quads. Very, very nice coloration and finish on these. Uh, I have narrowed this down, I believe that there is three males and an a female uh, wild caught polystigmas. Uh, there is a very nice male showing there. <clears throat> I believe this is a male as well, this is the female. Uh, and there is a third male there. I have not listed those on the website. If anybody's interested, email me, jlargo20 at gmail.com. Down here, three and a half inch <clears throat> Chilotilapia rhodocise, the snail eaters, and um, F1 buconotos. Uh, I can see ro rhodocise males for sure. Uh, the bucos are listed as unsexed. I can do my best to try and pick you out a male, uh, but no guarantees at this size. It's very difficult. Uh, the rhodocise and the bucos in this aquarium are both F1. F1 Malawi Gar from my beautiful wild cup breeding group here. Uh, both of these are spoken for. They got snagged off the side already. Uh, wild caught uh, Exochromus anageni and a four inch male F1 out of my grow out tubs. I will be pulling more out of my grow out tubs and I believe there is one more coming this Friday as well on those wild cots I spoke of coming this week. Bodzulus, three males, two females. Big six inch, full colored tangerine tigers. Four males, oh well, three males, one's already sold off the site. And um, two females. And I have a marginatus redfin remaining. And here is one of the marble sailfin placos. They have very uh, long top fins, that's why they call them sail fins. F1 Lanai, 
Linny, however you guys like to pronounce that one. Uh, looking very nice. Again, I can do my best to sex these, but it is hard to do at this size. Uh, so they are listed as unsexed. Uh, I can do my best. The Giant Hap, or the technical name if you want to get technical. Have uh, some nice males still showing and some females. Z-Rock Lithobates O'Plenty. Very nice Z-Rock 4 to 5 inch Z-Rock Lithobates. Lots of beautiful blazes in blue going on in here, folks. This is another, this is one of the spotted cell fins. Malawi Barracudas back in stock again I believe there is 14 or 15 in here an unusual uh, predator hap the Malawi Barracuda actually has teeth uh, one of the fish I really do not uh, like to handle <laughs> White Knights, Albino Electric Blues, males and females. I have six females. Four of them have already been snagged off the website. Uh, there is six males. One male has already been snagged. Alrighty, folks, brace yourself for this. Uh, Ten inch, wild caught, Champsochroma cerulius Malawi trout. Uh, this guy is a monster, uh, and I do get two wild females, which will go into my uh, Triple S breeding group. That folks, a uh, customer came into the store. Um, I think this is where I was, showing you guys this absolutely ginormous uh, monster wild caught uh, Malawi trout. Dude, I mean, seriously, the dude is like a, a monster. Uh, it's hard to, it probably is not coming across on camera how big this dude really is, but uh, he's the size of my forearm, if that helps you any. F1, Talia Lethernot Prior Batalis. I can't see males in here. Uh, this shot's specifically for Miss Hoda. Uh, this is the wild caught melon tross pair. Uh, proven breeding pair. The male, you can see, is showing really good color. F1 Buchachromis spectabilis. Have some males and a couple of females. And, uh, let's see. Buchachromis notitania. These are F2s. Uh, I can pick out males in these. These are a little bigger. They're in the 4 inch range. Um, this guy is spoken for. It's uh, that F1 trout I showed last week out of my grow out tubs. He will be going out here shortly. And um, <clears throat> a few Jalo Reefs and Lethernop Mbazi. Very, very nice. They're all uh, down here doing the circle dance. There's one with really nice color. The Mbazis are very nice. In this tank we have OB Red Empress. <clears throat> and Red Empress with the dormant OB gene, uh, both in this tank. So the ones that look like Red Empress uh, are were bred with the Red Empress OBs, and they're the ones that come out looking like the Red Empress, but they have a dormant OB gene. So if bred, you will get both. 
And then we have some that uh, obviously are the OB Red Empress patterns as well. Albino Taiwan Reefs, five to six inch males, four inch plus females, and the three inch unsexed. I can pick out males as well, uh, but the star of this tank here is these uh, big beautiful monster albino Taiwan Reefs. Geophagus, four inch. Red cap ta tapahos, I think that's pronounced. Tapeos or tapahos, not sure. Uh, very, very nice geophagus. Uh, it's our first time having these. Uh, really digging their fins and their patterns and the red on their heads. Uh, very nice fish. Lots of new goodies that we've never had before. I still have a few of the bleaker eye in here. Uh, new in this tank, um, wild caught black stripe pikes, pike cichlids, uh, electric blue jack or um, acaras, very nice electric blue acaras, and um, orange shoulder severums. good mixture of South Americans that folks have been asking for. Uh, the Acara are very nice. The Severums are very nice. And of course the wild caught Pikes. Down here we have two inch Yellowtail ACIs. Two inch Electric Blue Johannes and a uh, two inch Flavis as well. Every order we're trying to expand on our Nambuna supply and also in this tank are striped Raphael cats. Let me see if I can get one. There's one. Good size. There's another. They're a good size and healthy and fat. Uh, cool catfish. Stripe Raphael Cats. Uh, local trade in the Jack Dempsey. And I have a red dragon flower horn in here. Uh, the local $25 tank. Four inch star sapphires, Fino star sapphires. Looking very, very nice. Up here in D-Way Fire Haps, uh, anywhere from four inch to six inch males, six inch plus, and I have a few females. The two inch in-house bread tank. Uh, this big monster Rostratus is going out uh, along with that trout. And I do have two, four, uh, six females remaining. My wild caught Melantros group and their offspring. Very nice three inch blood parrots. And Goida River rainbows. Uh, orange spotted eels. Four to five inch. There is a black ghost knife in here somewhere. And then um, laser orange Corydoras. You can see one right there looking really nice. They're really nice color. And then the red flame Garamis. Dwarf Garamis. Really nice color. Three inch plus Macobi Island Nairi eyes. Really good color. Bolivian Rams, Yellow Rainbows, and Bosmani Rainbows. Good size and coloration already. One of my new favorite tanks at the shop. Lots and lots of beautiful discus. 
wild caught cardinal tetras and neon tetras as well as multiple variations of beautiful discus you can see snake skins red turquoise red melons yellow whites and blue diamond beautiful discus down here uh, Iranian red rainbows um, these guys are settling in now and starting to show their red uh, I have a pair of fire fin comps and a pair of gold comps and I have a few of the Gelidia chromus malarii more Demason eyes and OB filiborn eyes Leloup eyes Gelidiochromus reganis and now back in stock F1 Cynodonis multis the multi plancatus a whole bunch of them hiding underneath the sponge here blue OB filiborn eyes and blue filiborn eyes and albino trebovasis Rusty Sicolifies and Snow Whites. Albino Senegal Bichers and Senegal Bichers. I have a Datnoid remaining and a Silver Arowana. Bichers are really nice, both the albinos, good size, and the common Senegal. Senegal, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Yellow Labs, Manda Blue Dolphins, OB Zebras, and Chuwari Elongatus. Again, we are expanding on our Mbuna inventory. Alrighty, folks, I think that's everything in this uh, walkthrough. Again, I have more coming this Friday. Uh, there will be some very nice wild caught fish in it. Uh, please stay tuned for that. As always, thank you for watching. Be good to each other and God bless.